Now, of course, we come to our flagship wine, <clears throat> Le Cigar Volant, 2018. Um, this is a wine we've been making since 1984 in one form or another. And again, it began life as a homage to Chateauneuf du Pop, uh, using the principal grapes of Chateauneuf du Pop. And so historically, the wine has always been a blend of Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre, and Sanso, the principal grapes of Chateauneuf. This would be great, apart from one small fact, which is to say over the years I found I didn't really like modern Chateauneuf du Pop so much. Why? I mean, Chateauneuf du Pop is, can be wonderful, but it's in the recent years, the styles have changed. The wines have become much more astringent, phenolic, um, higher in alcohol, just more, just bigger wines, um, more robust wines, which is fine if you're into that sort of thing. But we sensitive Santa Cruzans prefer a wine that is a little more in touch with our feminine side, if you will. Um, to me, the paradigm is Burgundy. So I like Chateauneuf when it tastes a lot like Burgundy. Call me crazy. So the, the, the wine itself has had a kind of a stylistic uh, bent in that direction over the years. So we tried to make more elegant wines, keeping the alcohol down to a dull roar. And really it wasn't until 2018 when we made a big stylistic change. And, and what we did was we actually eliminated the Morved completely from the blend <clears throat> and substituted a much higher percentage of Sanso in the cuvee. Uh, Sanso is a funny grape. It's a, it's a table grape uh, as well as a wine grape. It's grown in southern France as well as in northern, northern Africa. Uh, very drought tolerant, heat tolerant. Um, it does have some, some minor problems, one, one being that it doesn't have a lot of color, um, doesn't have a lot of tannin, but it does have a lot of fragrance and um, fruit to it, and it's a wonderful blending grape. So we co-fermented the Sanso and Syrah, which was clever. Uh, the co-fermentation actually helps to stabilize the color in the Sanso. And what's nice about Sanso in a Rhone blend is Sanso offers this kind of very nice grace note to the wine. It kind of sits on, aromatically sits on top of the wine with its cherry benzaldehyde aroma that actually sits on top of the spicy pepperiness of the Syrah and the fruity guava, strawberry, peach quality of the, um, of the Grenache. So the 18 cigar is a little bit higher in acid than cigars d'antan. Um, it is not as high in alcohol, uh, very fruity, very floral, very lively, just an utterly, utterly delicious wine. I'm hoping that the red wines are being served a little on the cool side. It's delicious and hopefully in proper glassware. I'm sure they, it is. Um, burgundy glass is, is the way to go. Um, you want to think of this as, if you will, as an alternate alternative to burgundy. If you can't afford to drink burgundy every night, you can at least have some elegance in your glass uh, with Cigar Volant. Now, I am remiss not to talk about screw caps. I know this is everyone's very favorite subject, um, but let me dilate briefly on the subject of screw caps. Screw caps are brilliant. They are uh, misunderstood still by a large percentage of the population, um, but they're lovely and uh, they allow the wine to age. Uh, a misconception is that wines don't age with screw caps. They absolutely do. Of course, some of that is dependent on the liner that's used for the screw cap, and that's another conversation altogether. Um, anywho, the screw caps generally pr permit less oxygen ingress into the wine. So as a, as a result, the wine develops more slowly. It still develops, but on a slower timeline. So it goes through a somewhat of a backward period when it's young, but it comes out the other side and lives, I would estimate conservatively, 40 to 50% longer than were it uh, closed with a conventional uh, cork, if you will. We love screw caps. I've been doing it now for, using them for 20 years. And um, we fi I find that the wines that were sealed with screw caps hold up incredibly well. Even the, the wines that you, you buy uh, and, and open in your own in your own house will last three, four, five, seven, ten days uh, after you open it with a screw cap, which is uh, redounds to their credit. 
enjoy.